We're going to have a look at a nested XLOOKUP statement in Excel based upon Park Run. Park Run is a 5k run every Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. And so on my worksheet here, I've got a range of ages of runners on the row 3, time in minutes, 15, 16, 25, 26, 60 minutes. The combination of the age range and the time range gives a message, if you like, or a comment of how good, very good, elite or standard a person's time age combination might be. So we're going to have a look at John, who did a time of 21.2 minutes, age 56, and that gave good. You can see there the intersection is indeed good. But let's see how we got there. I've broken it down in the text box, courtesy of the external in red, XLOOKUP, and the internal in blue, XLOOKUP. Now the external has five arguments. Let's have a look at them. The first one is C20. And C20 is 56 years of age. And 56 years of age fits in between the 55 and 60 category. So remember that. Now the lookup array is A4 to A14 clearly. That's the selection of ages into which 56 is looking. The return array is the nested X lookup which gives the time range, which we'll see shortly. Argument four is a message value if it's not found in the range. And minus one, which you can see here, minus one, looks at the, sm the next smaller item, in this case, age, the 55. So let's see how this works. 56 years of age fits in between 55 and 60. The next smaller age is the 55. So we're looking for an entry along row 11. Now the internal X lookup is all based on the times and B20 holds the time of 21.2. This time the lookup array is the range B3 to M3, which is on row three. And that's looking at time ranges, 15, 16, 17, 18, etc. As many as you want. Indeed, you could put even more on if you want to have a play with this. Now, the return array is the whole range B4 to N14. And because John didn't quite make the 21 minutes, we're using the next larger value in the range. Hence why the argument is a 1. Minus 1 lower, one, higher as part of the range. Clearly we're then returning the combination of row 11 and column I to give good. And you can see there, I've copied this down for other people, Tina and Stuart as well. So I hope you can break this down yourself and follow through the text box to go through and then perhaps try a few entries yourself. Now nested X lookup effectively replaces V lookup, H lookup, which is horizontal lookup, and also index and match. So you might find the X lookup function in some of your spreadsheets really quite useful. Not easy, but very powerful, and I hope you enjoy.